Wild button mushroom is the most popular mushroom in the world and accounts for nearly 30% of the total world production. At present, India is roughly producing around 70 to 80,000 tons of button mushrooms, which have grown steadily over the years. This mushroom needs cooler climate for its growth and can be cultivated in the winters in the most parts of country. This is called seasonal cultivation. Button mushroom can also be cultivated throughout the year by employing cooling facilities and providing suitable infrastructures and machinery. Seasonal cultivation is generally done in thatched houses. Such structures are made up of bamboos, paddy straw, circunda grass and polythene sheets. Semi-permanent low-cost structures can also be constructed for mushroom cultivation. Round-the-year cultivation requires construction of many permanent structures and installation of some machinery. Total infrastructure required is as follows. This project can be accommodated in 500 to 600 square meters of land. Machinery required 4 numbers of self-contented AHUs Boiler 150 kg steam generation capacity Centrifugal blower along with ducting Steel racks in the growing rooms and iron gratings in the tunnel Electric and other installations Water pipeline and fittings Equipments like thermometers, sprayers, forks harvesting trays, etc. There are five steps in the cultivation technology of button mushroom. Production or procurement of spawn. Preparation or procurement of compost. Spawning. Casing. Production of crop. Production and procurement of spawn. You can produce your own spawn or it can be procured from a reliable laboratory situated in the region. Almost all state agriculture universities including our AICRP centers supply the spawn. Spawn is the seed required for growing mushrooms or in simple words, spawn is the grains covered with mushroom mycelium. Technically spawn is the vegetative mycelium from a selected mushroom grown on any convenient medium like wheat, pearl millet, sorghum etc. After production or procurement of spawn, next step involved in cultivation is compost production which can be prepared by three methods, long, short and indoor methods. Long method of composting. This is a very old and traditional method of compost production and usually seasonal cultivators prepare compost by this method. Compost can be prepared by this method in one month's time during which it is turned 7 to 8 times. By this technique around 15 to 18 kg mushrooms can be produced from 100 kg compost in 3 months period. The formulations required for this method are To start the composting procedure, first thoroughly clean the area and spray 2% of formaldehyde. Next day, wheat straw or any other recommended base material is spread on the platform. Water is sprinkled over the straw with a pipe and straw is frequently turned till it absorbs around 75% moisture. Around 4000 liters of water or ton of straw would be required. When the straw is fully wetted, it is collected as a low heap on one side of the yard. Similarly, other ingredients except gypsum are mixed and kept as such in the yard in a heap. Long method compost is prepared in around 28 days. During this period, compost is turned at least 7 to 8 times. Now we will be telling you day-wise operations. Day 0 On this day, two ingredients that is straw and other additives are properly mixed. The mixed ingredients are then made into a high aerobic pile. Dimensions of the pile should be 5 feet wide, 5 feet in height and length will depend upon the quantity of the substrate. Day 1 to 5 This pile is kept as such for 5 days. Temperature of heap starts rising and may go up to 70 to 75 Celsius in 24 to 48 hours. Day 6 On 6th day, first turning is given to the pile. Pile is broken and the substrate is mixed well and then a new pile is constructed. Strong smell of ammonia can be noticed during this phase. After the first turning, temperature starts rising again after 24 hours. 
day 10. The pile is broken again and turned second time as earlier. Pile shows some shrinkage and exhibits higher temperature. The color of the ingredient starts darkening to deep brown. Ammonia production is higher at this stage. Now white flags or powdery mass which are known as fire fangs, astinomycetes are also visible which is the indication of good compost. Day 13. Again the pile is turned third time and the required quantity of gypsum is added and mixed well. Day 16, 19, 22, 25. Turnings are given and on 25th day the required quantity of insecticide is added. During last turning and spraying of melathion or desis and 0.01% can be done for killing insects and pests. Day 28. This is the last day and also called spawning day. The pile is broken and smell of ammonia is checked. If no ammonia smell is there and instead a sweet smell is felt, the compost is ready for spawning. If ammonia smell persists, then give additional turning. Before spawning, compost is cooled down to ambient temperature by spreading it on the floor. A good compost is dark brown in color, non-greasy or sticky and have a distinct sweet inoffensive smell free from ammonia. Have 66 to 68% moisture and 7.2 to 7.8 pH. There is no visible growth of other undesirable organisms except for the fire fangs and is free from insects and nematodes. This directorate has developed the chemical pasteurization technique for long method compost for the control of yellow mold and also to improve the yields. In this technique, we take 1.5 liters of formalin and 50 gram of bevestin. Dissolve these chemicals in 40 liters of water for 1 ton compost. Spray this solution thoroughly in the entire compost mass. Now make a heap out of this compost and cover it by a polythene sheet for 2 days. Remove the cover after 2 days and vigorously shake the compost and later spawn this compost. Short method of composting is generally employed by the growers who have round the ear cultivation facilities. This method consists of two phases. Phase 1 is outdoor composting for 10 to 12 days. Phase 2 is pasteurization and conditioning of the compost inside the tunnel which lasts for around 7 days. The formulation required for this method are wheat straw 1000 kg, chicken manure 400 kg, wheat bran 70 kg, urea 14.5 kg gypsum 30 kg phase 1 outdoor composting stage at this stage first wheat straw is wetted thoroughly and then chicken manure is mixed along with addition of wheat bran and kept as such for two days after that stack is broken and water is added to the dry portions and again a stack is made zero day on this day the stack is again broken and the entire quantity of urea is added and a high aerobic pile is made. The compost is again turned after every two days and gypsum is added a third turning. In all three to four turnings are given. Temperature of the pile may range between 70 to 80 degrees Celsius. On 8th till 10th day the compost is ready for pasteurization in bulk chamber. This makes the end of phase 1. Phase 2 of composting is performed in pasteurization tunnel. Fill the tunnel with compost up to the height of 2 to 2.3 meter, manually or by filling line or bobcat. Install thermometers. Probe one each in plenum, compost and in the air above the compost. Close all the doors and ventilators and switch on the blower fan. Bring uniform temperature in the tunnel between 45 to 48 degrees Celsius. Now slightly open the fresh air damper and maintain the temperature in the range of 48 to 52 Celsius in compost for 48 hours for pre-pasteurization conditioning. Now raise the compost temperature to 59 to 60 Celsius by manipulating the opening of the damper or by injecting steam through a boiler. Keep compost at this temperature for 4 to 6 hours. Again bring down the compost temperature between 48 to 52 Celsius range. Keep it for 3 to 4 days or till the period when there is no ammonia smell in the compost. You can also check the ammonia by using dragger and ammonia tubes. If no ammonia persists, bring down the compost temperature to 25 to 30 Celsius. Now the compost is ready for spawning.
indoor composting. This is a recent method of compost production. In this method, compost is prepared in 12 days time without any environment pollution. In this method, phase 1 is performed in specially made bunkers which are also known as phase 1 tunnels. These bunkers are provided with ventilation arrangements. In this method, all the ingredients as mentioned for short method are thoroughly mixed and properly wetted and kept as such in a heap in the composting yard for 2 to 3 days. These ingredients are transferred to the bunkers and blower fan is switched on for 3 minutes on and 2 minutes off with the help of a timer. Temperature of the pile may go up to 80 degrees Celsius. Compost is kept in the bunker for 3 days. After that, this mass is taken out properly mixed and transferred to another bunker, where again this is kept for 3 days and similar procedure followed. Thereafter, this compost is transferred to phase 2 tunnel and procedure as mentioned for short method is followed. Next step in the cultivation cycle of button mushroom is to spawn the ready compost prepared by either of the shown methods. Select a suitable area for spawning preferably cemented platform or room. Spray the area with 2% formaldehyde 24 hours before spawning operation. Thoroughly mix spawn in the compost in the ratio of 500 to 750 gram of spawn in per 100 kg of compost under clean conditions. Fill 10 kg spawned compost in each of polythene bag of size 22 by 24 inches up to the height of 30 cm. The compost can also be spread in shell beds approximately 5 to 6 inches deep in a thatched mushroom house. Loosely close the mouth of polythene bag filled with spawned compost and cover with a clean newspaper or plastic sheet it filled in beds or shelves. Shift the compost filled bags in cropping rooms having air temperature of 23 plus minus 1 degree Celsius. Keep bags under these conditions for 12 to 14 days. Compost if kept in the thatched growing rooms in beds and covered with newspapers will require gentle water spray once in a day to avoid drying of the compost. There is no need of water spray if compost is covered with poly sheet. Under these conditions, spawn run will complete in 12 to 15 days and compost will turn to white in color. Casing and case run is an important step in the cultivation cycle of button mushroom. Without casing, mushroom will not appear. Casing is applying a layer of soil around 4.5 cm thick on the top surface of the spawn run compost. A mixture of 2 to 3 years old farmyard manure with garden soil in the ratio of 1 is to 1 is prepared. If choir pith is available in your area, then it can also be used in combination of FYM and garden soil in the ratio of 1 is to 1 is to 1. Formalin is the best material to treat the casing soil for the farmers who do not have control facilities. It kills all kinds of diseases and molds. For casing treatment, following steps are involved. Make a heap of casing material on a cemented platform and wet it thoroughly. Drench the wet casing with formalin at 2 liter dissolved in 40 liters of water or M3 by mixing with shovel. Cover it with polythene sheet and seal the outer periphery thereafter by pouring sand or soil on outside margin. Keep the material for 5 to 6 days in sun for fumigation effect. Remove the cover and expose the material to open air by turning the material for use. Growers who have controlled conditions may treat their casing soil with steam in a casing soil chamber built for the purpose. Casing is pasteurized at 65 Celsius for 6 to 8 hours by live steam in this chamber. After its cooling to 25 Celsius, it's ready for application. For casing application, unfold the fully spawn run bag and make the top surface even by its gentle pressing with hands. Apply 4.5 cm thick layer of casing uniformly on the surface. Spray water immediately after casing application and thereafter daily. Water is so sprayed that it does not travel to compost. Daily water spray the casing till the termination of crop. After casing, mycelium will travel in the casing soil. This process is known as case run which is done at a temperature of 23 to 25 degrees Celsius with RH of 95% and carbon dioxide of about 10,000 ppm for about one week. Once the mycelium reaches the casing soil, the compost is ready for fruiting. 
mushrooms will not appear from the bags or beds unless you give the shock to the mycelium or compost and for this we change the environmental conditions altogether. First, we bring down the air temperature to 15 to 17 degrees Celsius, RH to 85% and we provide enough ventilation to the compost or room which brings down the CO2 concentration to 800 till 1000 ppm. This change in environmental parameters induces pinhead formation in 3 to 4 days time. The pinheads develop into solid button sized mushrooms in another 3 to 4 days. At this stage, the air inside the cropping room is changed 4 to 6 times in an hour to maintain appropriate carbon dioxide concentration. Given above conditions, you will get the first harvest ready after 33 to 34 days of spawning. Mushrooms with 4 to 5 cm diameter and close to veil are harvested. Mushrooms are harvested by holding them between forefinger and thumb and rotating in clockwise and anti-clockwise direction. The soil stem portion is cut with sharp knife and mushrooms are collected grade-wise in baskets. Daily watering to the bags or beds is required. Water is so sprayed that it remains to the casing soil only and does not leach it down to the compost. If required, water can be sprayed two times on the bags. Mushrooms appear in the flushes. After harvesting mushrooms for two to three days, there is a gap when they reappear. 1.8 to 2 kg mushrooms is harvested per bag of 10 kg compost each in 30 to 40 days of cropping. Mushrooms after harvest are graded and packed in PP bags with 1 to 2 mm small holes all over. These packed mushrooms should immediately be sent to the market for their disposal.